Uh, my name is Martin Birchall. I'm a professor of VNT at University College London and University College London Hospitals. And uh, I've been involved in uh, some of the airway care of patients who have been suffering from COVID-19. Um, one of the things that became rapidly apparent in the early stages was that when you were in an operating theatre environment wearing the full PPE uh, to protect the staff when you're dealing with a COVID patient, it's difficult to communicate. You have several layers uh, between uh, your mouth and the ears of those who are supposed to hear um, and it is just very, very difficult without shouting and gesticulating to communicate things. Now most of the time you can get by, particularly if people know each other, mm. but if there's an emergency everybody needs to hear things quickly and with great clarity and appropriate volume. Therefore we've been exploring different ways of using electronic communications to improve the ability of theatre teams to communicate with each other uh, and therefore to improve the speed, safety, efficiency and the outcomes for the patients of operations when we're operating on people in full PPE. We've attempted to uh, assess what is available out there uh, in terms of off-the-shelf equipment rather than creating something new because the immediacy of the situation demands that we haven't the time to develop new equipment. We've therefore approached um, three companies uh, who have kindly donated equipment for us to test. Uh, the first one is Apple, who have given us a series of uh, Powerbeats, uh, Powerbeats Pro, um, and we've been testing those over the last few weeks. We've also uh, got two HoloLens, which are supplied by Microsoft, and these are virtual reality headsets. And the third set that we have is from uh, motor racing technology company, MRTC, who supply equipment to pit crews and Formula One motor racing teams. We've conducted a series of tests with the Powerbeats, um, and we're feeding back the results of people's views and beliefs, their fears and their ideas, based on tests of the power beats, first of all in a dummy environment in the UCLH dummy operating theatre, but also in real operating environments, both with COVID patients and non-COVID patients. We've just started a trial of the MRTC equipment, and we ran a live trial of that and a dummy trial of that today. And again, we're collecting qualitative views of the whole theatre team, the surgeons, the anaesthetists, nurses, operating department assistants, and the outside runners to see what they think in terms of the pluses, the minuses, the fears, the beliefs and the things that they might improve in the future. We're also going to be trying out the HoloLens in collaboration with Imperial College London who have a, a long-standing relationship with Microsoft and have been trying out the HoloLens for a long time. At the end of this project we will have uh, an idea of which of these forms of technology offers the most to us in the immediate scenario of dealing with the COVID crisis, but it'll also give us an idea of what the ideal specification is for a set of theatre equipment for theatre teams who are uh, unable to communicate in normal ways because of wearing protective equipment. And we think that that knowledge will first of all help us going forward into the new world where we'll be wearing the protective equipment far more than we used to, but it'll also enable us to put to those companies and to university researchers those specifications to design something that's going to be perfect for the next decade and two decades of theatre communications.